Question number one. Write in the missing numbers. So we've got 55 add a mystery number equals 120. And we've got 600 times by 4 equals this mystery answer here. Well, first thing to point out is that in the first question, it's part of the question that's missing because we already knew the answer is 120. In the second question, it's the actual answer that's missing. And it's always easier to find the answers that are missing rather than part of the question. So let's find the one where the answer is missing first. We've got 600 times by 4. Lots of ways you could do this. You could say, well, times by 4, I double a number and then double it again. So double 600 is 1,200. Double 1,200 again is 2,400. So that is your answer, 2,400. You could have said four sixes are 24, and then put two zeros on the end. So there's the two zeros. Or you could even have done a column method to get the answer. Four zeros are zero, four zeros are zero, four sixes are 24. Whichever way you do it, 2,400 is your answer. On the first one, we are going this way, and we are adding on this mystery number to get 120. Now, if we want to work in reverse, if we take off 55 from 120, we will get the missing answer. So if we find the difference between 55 and 120 by subtracting, and any time you find difference, a subtraction will work, then you'll get this mystery answer here. So 0 take away 5 we can't do, so let's borrow 1, that now makes 10. 10 take away 5 is 5, 1 take away 5 we can't do, so that now makes 11. 11 take away 5 is 6, and there's nothing left in this column, so the answer must be 65. Just to double check, we could do 55 add 65 and see if it gets us back to 120. So 55 add 65, 5 and 5 is 10, carry the 1. 5 and 6 is 11, plus that 1 is 12. So it does indeed get us back to 120. So your two answers are 65 in the first box and 2,400 in the second box.